It's 100 days since Sandy struck this area, but the recovery effort continues. For Henry and Susan Winters, Red Cross volunteers from Modesto, California, this is the last run on their last day doing disaster response for Hurricane Sandy. 11.02, leaving the yard. Have a good one. Today, they deliver their final load of hot meals to the people at Breezy Point on Long Island, where they've been making deliveries for more than three weeks. People here say they won't be forgotten. Without the Red Cross, I would have been left alone, and I wouldn't have had anybody to help me. They came by. And, and they support you when you're there. Retired New York firefighter Bob Riley lost his home in the fire that struck the first night. He's overwhelmed at the level of response. And when you're here and you have nothing, it's nice to see people come down and volunteer, volunteering, helping people that need it. And believe me, we needed it. I mean, the, the, the support from you guys, the Red Cross, you know, volunteers from coming from all over the country. Just amazing, you know, that we have such great organizations like you guys coming down to help us. Henry Winter says they were glad to help and will again. From my point of view, you know, for myself, it's satisfying. You know, that you can come and you can help people and they appreciate it and uh, we play it forward. You know, if we do a good job, maybe someone else will want to do it and do what Susan and I are doing. We're going back home tomorrow. Oh, you're kidding. No, I'm going to miss you. Yeah, we Susan and Henry hand out their last meals, get a final hug and thanks, and then head back to the staging area. It's a hundred days since Sandy struck this area, but the recovery effort continues for the residents who live here and the American Red Cross. Bye-bye. Oh, you take care. Okay. You're welcome. You're welcome.